You can stop tapping. You don't have to tap. I don't anymore. like the tapping. Well, it was a thing. Uh, all right. This week, Modern Masters cover arts for their booster packs got spoiled. So why not just start wildly speculating and making really brash, just overbearing predictions of what it could mean? Okay, let's do it. It's what we should do, right? Yeah, let's do it right now. All right, let's get into it. Okay, we're going. Here we Into go. it. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel and I. I'm Joel. He's Jake. Find us on social media. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. A lot of cool stuff. Links are in the description. Look in the description for the links. This week, we're going to talk about modern. Yeah, we're talking about modern. Everybody's favorite topic right now. I have an affinity deck. Everybody's really, really unnerved about the future of modern. Yeah, they're like... What's going to happen to Why you? does wizards hate modern? Is wizards killing modern? They're like, where where can we hide modern and people won't be able to find it anymore? We've been vaguely silent on this topic, <clears throat> but it came to a head today. Normally when, we talk about standard, yeah. Yeah, that's normally where we live. Yeah. It's, it's kind of our but, thing. Uh, yeah, we're talking about uh, modern today. They spoiled the booster pack cover art. Ooh. Ooh, you're, you're, very, you're very spooky today. Uh, it's a you're spooky, like very, you're like, it's a spooky you're spoiler. Spooky and mood. everybody's just like, Rome is burning! Rome is burning! Wait, Based on like, just some did you like watch a card. crazy movie last night? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Vice on HBO lately. <laughs> and so, okay. you know, I'm scared of the future. Rome might be burning. Yeah. And for modern today, it, it might be burning. We're not going to see... Here's the thing, guys. Here's a kicker. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Modern is not going to be a Pro Tour format anymore. And you can still play it at GP. You, you can still play it because, you know, a Modern GP will likely be a limited event. It'll it's not be gone like forever. It'll either sealed or draft. Like most of something. Twitter would have you believe. Yeah, it's it ain't not gone. gone. It's not going. They haven't it's... taken it out behind the barn and shot it in the head yet. And I don't but think, they're, I don't they're think they can. To. Because the thing is, is, okay, so it's not going to be a Pro Tour format. What does that mean? That's just like, okay, so... The hype is going to be around yeah. the standard cards. Yeah, when a new set comes out, you know, it's very unlikely that a new set is going to impact modern. So it doesn't right. make much sense for, you know, Wizards, they make their money selling sealed product. So, you know, while there is a huge Open. fan base for modern, it's just, it doesn't make sense for them to, you know, do an entire event around it when it's such an expensive format to get into anyway. Right. So. They tried to balance it out by... <clears throat> doing the whole Modern Masters thing, but... Yeah. Regardless, the covers of Modern Masters packs are Domri Raid. <gasps> what is Domri Raid? It's, what it's, is Domri Raid? It's a pretty good Planeswalker, it? but know, it's not, know, it's not in Modern. What is it Nothing. Filler. Nothing. But it's a, it's a solid Planeswalker, but, it, I mean, it's no Tibble. Here's, here's where but I it's am. Here's not where in I Modern am. decks. I am excited to acquire the foil... When it, when it is at its lowest, and I will put it in an EDH deck. Spoken and like that a true finance the, I mean, that'll be it. The other two that were spoiled. Grizzle Brand. Yeah. Cool. Would have been more exciting. Would have been more exciting boring. if a promo of him hadn't come out. Yes. But a promo of him exists. Still boring. Still. Did they change the art on him? Is it the wee, same art? Wee, you have to imagine no, because the yeah. art on the pack <clears throat> is the same thing. I mean, it'd be cool if they had made like an alternate art. Right, like just, but why would they like post, redesign it? Why like would they? Confidant. Why would they print on the booster pack his actual Boy. art, and yeah. then have the art on the card be a different thing? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No, I get it. And then you also have Stoic Angel. <gasps> Exciting. Oh God, bad. bad. So people bad, saw bad this angel. Watch people them make that this. mythic. It's it's where Watch them bump that up in to mythic. Rome's They're gonna burning be like, mode yeah. because. They just announced Modern's not going to Pro Tours. They announced the new art for Modern Masters. They probably honestly just wanted to rip the Band-Aid off because they packaged it with the Amon Ket yeah. promo art, which we've already talked about and at length. And they... So they kind of wanted to like... Oh, yeah, by the way, Modern Masters... Oh, yeah, please don't bitch about Modern Masters. By the way, 
Uh, I'm on camp. Look at all this cool stuff. Everybody's super hyped about it. I'm on camp. Modern Master, by the way. There's one thing I want to say about Modern, and it's it's this. When I was putting together my Affinity deck, it took me like three years. Yeah. It took me Easily. a long time to do it. Unless you are a I adult. remember you being super excited that you had it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Dude, and that was a slow grind. It was like I would find one person with an Earthbound Ravager. Right. Or I would find, you know, like one person who had the Steel Overseer. Or, you know, I opened a couple uh, Mox Opals, and then I was like, all right, got to trade for these. And so the deck, it took me a long time to put it together. But unless you're an adult. Unless you have a big boy job. Right. And you're just able to be like, all right, this paycheck is going toward my modern deck. I'm filling out Jund. I'm going to buy all my Lilianas, which are 70 bucks a piece. <laughs> you know, it, the thing is, the deck, it, it there is a cost barrier. But with that... There are people that are passionate about these decks. Definitely. There are people that are passionate about these cards that they've acquired. I don't want my deck to just go away. And I think if, if Wizard stops doing, you know, modern tournaments, it's really going to turn off all of these people that have put in all of this time. Right. They're also effort. passionate about the diversity of the format, yeah. which has been the huge discussion in the last two months. Especially, well, not especially, but because of standard being what it is right now right it just got so focused and modern is the non-focused format and i'm i'm interested if they are going to move away from modern and if they're looking for that new format is it going to be something like frontier are they looking for a new format though I don't That's know. the major question. I mean right? wizard sells I mean, look what they did they to modern. make not... money when they have sealed events right and they make money when they have standard events because those are the cards that people are buying. Those are the Draft, most affordable seal, cards. Standard. If you want to play competitive magic, you don't get a standard deck. That's the deck that you can likely trade around for. You're gonna find people like if you open product, if you spend like two, three hundred dollars, right. you're gonna have a deck. I'm looking for a so and so. Somebody's gonna have a fifth one that's yes. in their trade line. It's a lot harder to go out and be like, Hey, do you have uh, Tarmogoyf when, in, like, look, in like played condition. I know we're all over the place with this subject right now, but the subject's kind of all over the place and everybody's just trying to figure out where it is. But look at the double-edged sword of the diversity of modern. How do you sideboard against the entire meta? You can't. Really. You don't. You don't. Or you try to That's sideboard for what you think you're going to play and then there's a good chance that you don't even play And that. so it makes sense that they would take something like this out of the pro tour because the pros aren't going to want... The variants. They're not going to want, well, I need to put two of this against this, and two of this against this, and two of this against this, in case I see this, 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 or this, and hope that when I sideboard, I see those two cards. Yeah. That doesn't sound like, that doesn't sound like what the pros want to play. Yeah. So what I, th what I think here, okay, so we're not going to see this in the Pro Tour. I still firmly believe we're going to see modern tournaments at all local game stores. Yeah. People aren't going to stop playing. Even in GPs. We'll probably see a little less in GPs, yeah. but we still see Legacy in GPs. Look at GP Vegas. GP Vegas yeah. is Legacy, Limited, and Modern. Standard's yes. not even a part of it. That's and right. That's one of the major that's GPs right. of the year. That's right. So... It, it will it will still be in Grand Prix. Right. We will still see product printed. They are going to print... Product for these people. Modern Masters doesn't only apply to modern. Modern Masters can, uh, commander players are going to want this. Yeah. And people are going to want it for possible lottery cards. And if yeah. Wizards has learned nothing in the last three sets, it's that lottery cards move product. Oh my god. Don't even, let's not even. Exactly. We're not so, even going to talk about Expeditions if, and Masterpieces. If they can figure out a way to completely lottery Modern Masters, some people are going to be pissed. Everybody's going to buy the product. All of that aside, <laughs> there are going to be some repercussions from Modern being taken out of Pro Tour. Right. We don't know what Modern Masters will hold based on these three unless we want to <laughs> wildly speculate. Oh, Spooky Joel. Spooky Joel. Joel got spooky. But let's make some more serious predictions based on the facts that we do have, or some wild guesses that aren't related to the the 
let down. That was the booster pack well, I art. Have, I have I have a response to the booster pack art. Okay. Now, while I'm not super thrilled about any of the art that was spoiled on these packs, it does lead me to believe, because Wizards typically releases the pack art first, right? That they let in with some of their filler. Look at Aether Revolt. Aether Revolt's got an uncommon as its main one because it represents the like kind of artistic vision of the entire set. Yeah, she's got the she's got the sword. It's one of the rebels. Yeah, she's got she's got the sword. She's got the Kaladesh inventions thing. She's wearing the gear. Yeah, but the card itself is nothing special. Mm -hmm. It just kind of represents the vision of the set. Everyone has been asking for it forever. Liliana of the Veil. Hopefully, and I think so. Hopefully, I really think so because that one and one other certain dude needs to be in this set. Snapcaster Mage. There you go. Because it's been a long time. Snapcaster Mage did get a reprint as the promo. Right. And Liliana did get a reprint as the promo. It's just played in too many. But too the thing is, is, these cards are just as... When the Liliana promo was printed, it didn't nuke the price of the card. All it did was increase the demand for it. You know, people were like, oh, I got a Liliana promo. I'm going to try to fill out the set. Right. What we do need is... We need Liliana to be reprinted in a big set like Modern Masters 2017. And I think now is the time, and especially with the cover art on these packs, it does lead me to believe that there are going to be some heavy hitters. They haven't released the Chase Mythics yet. And those are going to be the things that come out and really get people hyped and buying and pre-ordering this in secondary markets. Because that's why, that's why Jake Martitius is going to be buying pack after pack of this. Oh, oh God, no! <laughs> Excuse me. But that's that's who they're after, is the people that want the Chase Mythics. Right. Hopefully this set isn't printed and packaged in little boxes that ultimately damage cards because you could shake it. When I shake this pack... Do you know what happens when I'm shaking this? Nothing. If you shake the Modern Masters... Two pack, mm -hmm. the cards just riffle around in the little box. I'm sorry, it's I'm like, just that made me nervous. I, that was the most violent I've ever seen you be with magic. But that was stupid. That was what stupid. an oversight. Snapcaster Mage, Liliana. I'm thinking, and this is just a me prediction Grove of the Burn Willows. This is a card that we haven't seen get a reprint in a while. Okay, it was from so you want to go on land, you want a wild prediction out of me? Yeah, sure. Amon Ket doesn't have fetch lands in it. Modern Masters 17. I don't think it does. Has a cycle of fetch lands in it. No. There you go. Wild prediction. <clears throat> there no we way. go. I there think, we go. No, I think you what want they some do. wild predictions. Stoic Angel was on the cover. No. No, I think I think fetch your lands. fetch lands. No, fetch lands are going to be used, and I'm I'm just going to disagree with you completely. They got to come back, no, dude. No, they're going to come back with Modern these, Masters. No, listen, you want to sell a set? Modern Masters. Fetch no, they're going to sell it. They're going to sell it with Liliana. And then they're going to bring the Fetchlands back in a set like Amon Ket. They're going to bring them back. Yeah. And the reason they're going to bring them back in Amon Ket is because it's going to sell the standard product just like they sold Kanzatark here, which was by and large garbage as shit. It was terrible. No one bought a Kanzatark here pack and hoped to open... Uh... Any Whatever that stuff. fucking Jeskai yeah. garbage. No, no. The but honestly, look, I'm, crane I'm, I'm going to keep predicting that Fetchlands come out in the next set until they do come out, and I'll be like, "Told you, <laughs> called it." <laughs> I hate to, I hate to be so uh, against you on this, but I just, hey. I think they sell a standard product. I think Modern Masters, we're gonna see Liliana. So from a finance perspective. Sell your Liliana now. I really do believe Cillian, uh, that Ciliana. Ciliana. <laughs> I don't know why I said Ciliana's that. Ciliana's going to be do, in the next set. God damn it. I do, silly how I much do she believe costs. that Liliana will be in Modern Masters. And I think your prediction is Ciliana. And I think Snapcaster Mage will be in Modern Masters. And that will be enough to sell it. But you keep Snapcaster Mage at rare. If you make it a mythic, everyone's just going to be salty. 
All right, guys, we're going to end this episode like we end every episode, and we're going to open a pack that we didn't even talk about this set today. Kaladesh. So let's get right into it. We got Dovin on the front. We're going to go right past the comments. There is a foil. <clears throat> hey ho! Uncommons. Fairgrounds Warden. We got some harsh scrutiny. We're going to look at the rare. Slow roll it. The rare is captured by the consulate. And we are going to move to... It is a foil. Fretwork Colony. Womp, womp, womp. And then a mountain and a token, but... Guys, thank you for watching today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure to follow us on... Twitter for all of our up-to-the-minute coverage. And follow us on... Instagram for all of Jake's sexy polls. And follow us on... Tapped Out for our current deck lists and any, like, limited deck lists we have. Also, make sure yes. to subscribe, like, if you're subscribed, when we're at 500 subscribers, you're going to be entered into the pool for an Expedition Arid Mesa. Free, and then we're mail gonna, to you. And we're going to razz it off, and someone's going to win it, we're just going to mail it to you. So That's how it's going to happen. Once we hit 500 subs, you know, that's just going to be a thing, and we're going to continue to do giveaways like that. So we got a little mini giveaway on Insta right now. Hit us at 300 subscribers on Insta, and you're going to get some booster packs. Just yes. for free. Yes, it's true. So be there. Other than that, I'm tapped out, man. Am I tapped out? Good night. Good night. Or good day. Or good morning. Or depending on where you are. Okay, bye. Mm. <coughs> 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 All right, you ready?